I'm in an acting class that I've been in for the last four and a half years. One thing I like about this acting class that has kind of kept me there is that we get to choose our own scenes. There are scenes that are available to us, like our teacher can provide for us if we don't have any, but for the most part we are encouraged to go out and find something that we want to do. And what I really like about that is that it allows you to explore a little bit of your own interests, um, test your own boundaries. You kind of get to set your own parameters for how much you're going to challenge yourself each time that you do a scene. And uh, my friend was going to do a scene with me. It was a comedic scene that he chose, he asked me to do. It's a sketch comedy piece. And... I asked him a little while before we were going to perform it, I was like, are you still up for it? And he said, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about it. I don't think that we should do it. And he said that the reason is that he watches my videos and I made a video talking about how I don't really like just having being funny be a part of my identity and it's partly because with regards to acting, I don't find comedic acting all that challenging anymore. And if, I've get, if I'm given a comedic scene, I can pretty much find what's funny about it and roll with it, and it'll... The, I, I'm, I'm never concerned about whether or not it's going to be successful. Um, granted, I mean, comedy is still challenging. It's just, I've pretty well been doing that my entire life. And he said that he watched the video and was like, you know, from watching that, I don't think that it's going to challenge you to do this scene. That was really interesting, especially because this class is not like, you know, it, it isn't an MFA program. It's not a conservatory. Is that even the right word? You know, it's, it's a little bit less strict and um, like academia. And that's also what I like about it is that sort of freedom that we have. But it should still be challenging me. And because I get to decide that, how much it challenges me, that means I have to work to challenge myself. And that was, I have to admit, him telling me that was a little bit off-putting. Saying that he didn't want me to do it if it wasn't going to challenge me. But I really, really like that, the more that I think about it. More and more these days, I don't want to do things that aren't going to challenge me, that I just do because they're sort of a free, a free ride. Every once in a while you can have something like that, but if you have a conscious choice to, and I mean, we have so many people in class that we don't get to do scenes all that often. And especially working with people, it's like you do this scene with them, that might be the last scene you do with them for months, if ever, you know? So it was just, it was really meaningful, that kind of response to me. And it does make me wonder, how much am I not challenging myself in my day-to-day? -day? I always want to be pushing myself just a little bit outside of my limits. If I set too high of expectation of challenging my, myself, and I've done this so many times, decide that overnight I'm going to make this big life change and I will just stick to it for the rest of my life and that's going to be it. It doesn't usually succeed because your your body has a thing called homeostasis that doesn't let you change it all that much in a short period of time. You just always got to move the goalpost just a little bit farther than what you've already accomplished. And I've thought of I thought of acting, I've thought of making these YouTube videos, I've thought of work as just sort of as just sort of get through it a lot of the time, or as just sort of like a fun time. I had another friend tell me also, um, I was telling him about my insecurities about my acting and how I don't know if I'm ever going to be like a real great top tier level actor. And one of the things he said to me was, well, I mean, he didn't say one way or the other if he thinks I'll ever be, but... Um, and he's a, he's around where I am in terms of in terms of his experience and stuff. But he said, I don't think you take the phrase an actor prepares very seriously. And I loved hearing that as well. That really, really hit me deeply.
And obviously, I'm not going to turn into being an amazingly prepared actor <laughs> like somebody who does insane amounts of uh, homework and study for a five-minute scene he's doing in class. I'm not going to start doing that tomorrow. But it's a nice little ideal that I can hold out there and keep working toward. I think I also want peers who are going to keep challenging me. There are a few things that make me feel more connected to a person than when I, I feel that they actually gave me a legitimate piece of feedback. Phrased in a way that, you know, wasn't, wasn't meant to be malicious or anything. Because then I know, hey, the positive feedback they're giving me, you know, the, the stuff that they say I'm doing really well, they mean it. They're not going to hold back in, in any direction. Yeah, the people around you challenge you. I mean, everybody that you spend a whole lot of time around is going to challenge you. And it's just making sure that they're challenging you in the right way. And they're helping you become the best you that you can be. And... They don't tolerate when they see that you're not being that person. And of course, the last part of that is that it's an invitation for me with, with my friends. I mean, the biggest feedback I've gotten from my acting teacher these days is not even about my acting. She's like, I just want you to give more feedback to your peers in class. I can be, I can be what challenges somebody else. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a slippery winding road, uh, getting to be that person. But um, it's important that, that I hold other people to the same challenge because I want them to be as rewarded as I am when I face my own challenges.